Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessis. This is the first part of the mesh refinement series. In this video, I will show you the problems that arise when large elements are used in small spaces and also make some recommendation on how to improve your mesh. I've prepared a simple model showcasing the poor mesh size. Reducing the mesh size you will see that there is a much improved mesh afterwards. The small model that I've prepared can be seen on screen. It's a slab supported by two structural walls. The general dimensions are as follow. You will see that the current mesh size is 2 meters. This means that the program will attempt to divide the slab into shells with side dimensions of 2 meters. Sumo will now generate the mesh. To improve my analysis results, I would like quadrilaterals that are as close to square as possible. Because of the poor mesh size that I chose, Sumo was unable to discretize the whole model into quadrilaterals and resorted to triangular elements. The triangular elements are indicated by small squares drawn around the center of the elements. The poor mesh originated in the cantilever region of the slab. Sumo was unable to fit a 2 meter quadrilateral mesh between the nodes of the supporting wall and the edge of the slab. The solution is to look for a smaller element size that can be divided into the overhang dimension without a remainder. This is a much improved mesh. You will see that there are no triangular elements. Throughout my model, I have quadrilaterals that are almost perfectly square. I can reduce my mesh size to half a meter and the mesh remains acceptable. If I change my mesh size to 0.7 meters, I will get a poor mesh result. This is because 0.7 can't be divided into 1 without a remainder. You will see that I've got triangular elements in my model again and a much poorer mesh overall. For this model, I will go back to the half a meter element size or even smaller than that 0.25 meters. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.